guys. How y'all doing? Uh, Saturday the 8th of July. A wee quick update this morning. Because although the sun is absolutely splitting the trees, so to speak. Uh, I've just looked up and we've been told this is all to change this afternoon. We'll have to have yet again storms, heavy rail, heavy hail, sorry, and that apparently is meant to go on from this afternoon through this evening and tomorrow as well. I mean, what the hell's going on with the weather, guys? What is going on? The reason I'm doing this wee quick update um, this morning, I think it's still this morning, well, it'll be this morning where you are, uh, is because I've tied my, t my giant sunflower up, the tallest one that I've got. But I've put the ladders out this morning. There's another sunflower there. I put the, the ladders up this morning and I'm afraid I cannot reach. I managed to measure it, but it's took me... It's took me um, five attempts. Five attempts. Because <laughs> the tape measure kept rolling back in again. <laughs> oh, dearie me. What a kerfuffle. But the head's starting to come out on it now. Um, therefore, I want to try and show you all different things in there. Different flowers. A lot of coloured flowers are coming away now. They're, they're past their best. But we've added some more plants in the other day that are just tiddly things that are starting to come up. We've got salvias. I think they're called verbascums. Uh, and our passion flower is coming up now and over the opposite side. Not as quick, but it'll get there. Yeah, so I want to try and take this. Hello, Naya. This short clip, just in case the storms knock the head off. The sunflower, the, the, the tallest one. And this wee border here that I made last year. That is every single one of those yellow plants that have been put in there, the, bul the bulbs and the corns. And so the, that's all yellow. Good morning, Betsy Butt. So we'll carry on here. I managed to get up with the ladders so far. Added an extra what I would call a, a tomato cane or a great big cane and I had to actually add it onto the, the existing one the other day. So it's 266, is that centimetres? I know the other day when I measured it, it came in at two and a half metres. So is that eight feet? But I don't know if you can see guys, um, I just can't, I'm just far too wee and I can't get up to tie that top wee bit off. So if the storm's meant to be as bad as they say it is, then we might lose it. Hence me putting a wee, a wee video on. This sunflower I think I'm going to take off, there's more coming. <coughs> Excuse me, there's more coming. Uh, I don't know whether to take it off or just leave it. Because as you can see, the wee birds or something have been using it for their dinner. But that's that. Oh, nearly fell. So that's that, guys. Uh, and that's my other border as a mixture. I've still got Cosmos coming up. Uh, Dahlia's coming up. I've got in here. This is my cat, Catman. Citron, catmint, and the bees absolutely love that. Mm -hmm. And they're getting an awful height. I'll have to look up in my notes because I really don't know what this plant is. This is seeds that I bought last year and started sowing them in October. And I've got no idea. 
what that is. But I planted quite a few of them a few months back and they're very, very tall anyway. So we'll see what they turn out like. And if they're any good, you'll obviously be going in uh, the back of border next year. I'll keep some seeds. Just a mixture of different things we've got. I think that they're, they're baskins that's in there. I actually know what each and every one of them is, but I'll have to look in my... I'll have to actually look in, in my notes and see. But anyway, I'm going to go, guys. Um, so if this is the last time you see the giant sunflower, That's the height yet. Yeah. I think it's maybe eight feet, eight something feet. I'm not very good at converting things, so it's 266 anyway. As I said, midweek it was two meters 50. That was easy enough to check out with the measuring tape. So if anybody knows what height, that jolly big plant is. Now you just can let me know. And just before I go, I'll just turn around here and see what the everything's needing weeded really, really badly. But my autumn fruit and raspberries are doing all right. And for some strange reason, for some strange reason, we've been getting fruit already. And very nice they were too. Not a lot. Uh, and these are wee cuttings or wee sticks that. I've shown in another video that I've just actually stuck straight into the ground and they're coming on great guns. Most of them probably won't get fruit till next year. Uh, as you can see here, that's another cornflower. I'll have to pull that up and tie it. Oh, I could tie it onto that. Big log. Because the storms, if they're as bad as what they say, then I'm expecting some damage. And that is my king size gooseberry bush, that one has taken off at an awful rate this year and we've got cuttings under and behind the cornflowers so anyway guys, that is just a wee update on the sunflower um, and I'll catch you in the next videos so take care, have a great weekend, whatever you're doing I hope to god you in the UK are not getting any storms I think he's have had enough. A wee bit of rain, we don't mind a bit of rain. Garden always needs some rain. But, oh God, I'm getting fed up with these storms. Anyway, enough for the morning, Clarice. Right, au revoir, toodle pip, and bye guys.